calling it the chocolate, chocolate hazelnut, hazelnut spread. spread. Woo. Um, so the question is Nutella. Yeah. Um, if anyone doesn't know what it is, it's, it's essentially a chocolate hazelnut spread. Uh, they usually have a, a few other ingredients in there Lots as well. Lots of sugar, typically, in the jar. Uh, you know, it, you might find it funny, but growing up in an Italian community, it was very common to eat uh, chocolate sandwiches, which is what they were called, which was Nutella in between bread. Yeah, and it's, it was the, the equivalent to like a peanut butter, I guess, and jelly sandwich. That was, that was the Italian version. Uh, so we're using two cups of hazelnuts. Um, these we roasted slightly. You can roast them 350 degree oven or even in a dry pan uh, just until you get a little bit of color. And you'll notice the skins on the outside will start to come off. Um, I don't mind it in here. If you don't like that grittiness, then you just rub it with a paper towel and they'll, most of the skins will come off and you'll have um, some of them with skins, some of them without. So two cups in, food processor. And this is in terms of ingredients, very, very minimal. And I like to taste the cocoa and I like to taste the, the hazelnuts. Question, yes? Can you substitute any other nuts that you want? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Almonds yeah. would be lovely. Almonds. I mean, even, even if you get peanuts, you know, to keep it very, very uh, basic, then you can do that as well. But any nuts will work in this. Uh, so that's going to go in. We're going for the, the who's going to spin the plate? We're going to go for the <laughs> cocoa powder. Um, now I like I like the cocoa in here, so I'm gonna go for a good three tablespoons ish <laughs> in there, and we're gonna start pulsing it. So this, <coughs> excuse me, this takes a couple minutes, two three minutes. We'll get it as far as we can here. I don't want you to be staring at a food processor the entire time. Uh, but the key to this is don't give up. Okay, be patient. <laughs> This will test your patience. This will test your patience. You're going to go through different stages of frustration, and then it'll work. Denial. Yes, it'll work. <laughs> Plug it in first. <laughs> right after you say it'll work, it doesn't work. Yeah. Plug it in, and it's going to get a little loud at, at first. Um, again, you'll look at this and be like, oh, this is never going to, this is such a waste. It's never going it, to, it'll... Just keep going. Have faith. Have faith. Dear friends. So you can see how it's starting to clump up. It's almost like it's making a ball of dough. Okay, so I can see it happening. I'll stop it just to show you. Oh, yeah. It's so happening. right here, so now I'm getting a sort of thick uh, hazelnut butter, like a peanut butter kind of thing. Again, oh, that's awesome. You let that go. You know, maybe another 30 seconds, and you're going to get um, Nutella. That's it. That's exactly what it looks like. So this is done. As is, you can use this in any recipe. Keep it in the fridge. This will last up to, if it lasts that long, it should last up to a month. Um, and we're going to use it today. We're going to make a little Valentine treat uh, for you today. So, uh, again, cookie, baking recipes. I try to make it as fast as possible because so I don't want to spend too much time doing this, even if it's for someone you love. <laughs> you can tell them it took hours, but <laughs> really. Do the trick where you put flour across your yeah, forehead. That's it. So we're going to start off uh, one egg. These are our wet ingredients first. Uh, then this is any sort of wet ingredient. So I'm using pumpkin puree. Um, but this can be substituted with half, half a cup of applesauce. It can be substituted with half a cup of mashed banana. Uh, mm -hmm. We've even done it with avocado, like a pureed avocado in there if you want to get a little bit more, more fat in there if you want. Uh, but anything that's, that's going to have some moisture to it works. I like pumpkin and chocolate together. It's a really nice combination. This is a great heart health trick as well because you're replacing butter or a more saturated fat with... What's that? Like a blueberry puree. Blueberries? Oh, yeah. yeah, if it's pureed, absolutely. Because then you're getting the moisture from it. Mm. So you're benefiting from the extra antioxidants um, and cutting down on some of the unhealthy fats. If you go for the avocado, that's a heart healthy option. So you don't have to worry as much about that. So combine them, and then we'll add our other ingredients. So uh, two tablespoons of any neutral oil. So you can use like a grapeseed oil. Um, you can use, I have a coconut oil. I know, you know, everyone's 
crazy about the coconut oil, but I mean any neutral oil in there. If you don't care, add olive oil. Sure. Olive oil is really your best choice from a heart health standpoint because it's a monounsaturated fat. Um, and when we look at the Mediterranean diet, that's really the gold star in terms of the healthiest diet in the world. And it's focused around olive oil. Uh, maple syrup, that's what I'm going to sweeten it up with. Again, here you can use honey. Doesn't really matter. You can even use the, the coconut or the palm sugar as well. I'm not too worried about one's a liquid, one's a sugar. It's such a small amount that it does not affect it much. Okay, so wet ingredients done. Dry ingredients. We are using a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of baking soda, and barley flour. That's the flour of choice uh, that we're going with today. Obviously, this will work with any flour. Try to choose a whole grain one. Christy wanted us to use the barley, barley flour, and I actually love the barley flour in baking. I think it tastes really good. The cool thing about it is if you're going with a whole wheat flour, sometimes you, you can't go all whole wheat because it becomes too dense. Um, and you have to use some of the white flour. With barley flour, you can sub it in to a recipe that calls for white flour one-to-one -one without worrying about the texture. And we chose barley flour. I wanted us to do either barley or oats in our dessert because both of them contain soluble fiber known as beta-glucan. And beta-glucan can help to trap the LDL cholesterol in your blood. And that's the bad cholesterol that's associated with a higher risk of heart disease. So it actually traps it and removes it from your bloodstream um, so definitely has some heart health benefits, as well as some evidence that it helps us stay full for longer, so it's very satisfying and can help to control blood sugar levels as well. So definitely a very healthy whole grain to choose. Uh, a little trick, if, you're, if you don't have a helper to help hold the bowl, you can see how as I was pouring <laughs> it in, it was spinning around. Uh, grab a tea towel and kind of roll it up like this, and then just create like a little nest. Ooh for the bowl, and then you can use one hand and, well, <laughs> wet it a bit, wet it a bit. But this, but this will be a lot easier, it won't move around on you. And it's like an assistant. So we're gonna mix this up. Almost as good. Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna mix this up just until it forms um, like a dough. It's gonna be a little bit on the stickier side, a little moist, that's what we're looking for here just until it absorbs it all and it comes together. And again, you know, the hardest part about this recipe is finding your ingredients in the pantry. Uh, and so fill up the whole tray. You, you might need a couple trays and press it down just a little bit. I put just a little bit of flour in my hands in case it's too sticky. And push a little indent. Yeah, it's getting really sticky. Push a little indent like a little volcano in between. And guess what we're filling these with. Oh yeah. Our chocolate hazelnut spread. Now if you did not make this, uh, even if you put, like Christy said, use like a 70% dark chocolate and just take a little chunk and just put that in the middle. Put a little square in yeah. the center of your cookie and press it down. That'll It'll work. Delicious. Yeah, that'll work just as well. Not as, not as good as this, but Check out these Valentine's We're treats. We're in here, so it's sticking a little bit to the parchment, but there you go. 